Virtually every crime has a digital element, often involving vast amounts of complex data. Forensic analytics software allows police forces to analyse this increasing volume of data faster than ever before, improving conviction rates whilst also saving police time, resources and ultimately lives. Digital evidence from devices like phones and cars and systems like the ANPR network is growing at an exponential rate. Traditional analysis is complex, yet the staggering volume of data presents both an opportunity and a challenge for policing. So we talk about analog radio and digital radio. Something that Joe Hoy, one of the world's leading experts in the use of wireless data investigations and a founder of Forensic Analytics, knows too well. When I was working as an expert witness 15 years ago, uh, a large case would be 3,000 calls. Now, a large case is a million calls, two million calls. So the volume of data and the range of sources for that data have exploded. To manage the vast amount of data available, Forensic Analytics has created Cell Site Analysis Suite, or CSAS, which produces robust evidence in seconds that investigators can use in court. What we do in CSAS is give them the ability to bring all of that data into one place where they can view it all on a map at the same time, they can overlay it together, they can analyse it and query it at the same time and then sift it down. Because really, first and foremost, our software solutions are productivity aids. We allow the analysts and the investigators to do the things they would have been doing with that data anyway, but do it in an automated way to speed up the process. Operation Atlas is a Met Police initiative that addresses one of policing's priorities, violence against women and girls, and in particular, stalking and harassment. Using CSAS, it has seen a 33% reduction in investigation time and has been recognised as best practice by the College of Policing. Forensic analytics Scott Fitzmaurice spent 15 years with Essex Police and was the detective inspector for its serious violence unit. We were running around doing some really good work, but actually we could do it better if we were enabled through data. I call it the digital witness. Here, actually, there's digital data all around us. What can we do to corroborate the victim and survivor's account? You know, if someone's brazenly stalking a female, or they're being stalked, they might not realise initially. It could be an account of, I'm pretty sure it's three o'clock last Tuesday, but I can't be certain. I can't give you the exact road, but it was in this area here. You put that with digital data alongside that, suddenly you can give the victims confidence that actually I can corroborate what you're saying here. The more we enable investigators to understand data and deal with data, the more positive outcomes we'll achieve from that. Sean Roberts is a former investigator who knows the frustrations of building a stalking and harassment case and believes forensic analytics tools will help. Currently, the national average charge rate for a stalking case is only 6%. When we apply the methodology of using CSAS to those investigations, we've seen that forces have increased those charge rates to 66%. The beauty of CSAS is where we can go and look at lines of inquiry like CCTV to then potentially put offenders in places and really, really prove that victim's case. But not only that, We've got a 92% guilty plea rate on those, which is absolutely phenomenal. More importantly though, it's speeding up those investigations for the victims. A lot of the time, victims will make a complaint and then be waiting months. Whereas because it's going to CSAS, in some cases they're able to charge offenders within 24 hours. Data can help police fill in the gaps, finding out where a person has or hasn't been. And as technology evolves, it's important to get reliable, real-time information on the go. And that's where CSAS Find comes in, a new iteration of the tool that gives frontline policing all the functionality of CSAS in the palm of their hand and in real time. I've got the ability to see those important locations while I'm out and about. I can start seeing the potential travel range of someone. How far could they have travelled on foot, on a bike or in a vehicle? This application has the potential to solving and preventing missing and wanted persons' cases as they happen live. 
CSAS Find works with a desktop software to create a platform that can integrate forces and national databases, all while remaining easy for any officer to use. We are an essential solution uh, for law enforcement and, uh, and the wider, wider public sector. Um, it can no longer be seen as a desirable solution for specialist units. Forensic analytics isn't planning to stop evolving anytime soon. With expansions to the US and Australia, they continue to stay ahead of technological advances in the fight against crime. My main motivation for this is finding out what we can do next, what kinds of improved outcomes we can offer to our users in criminal justice and then by extension to the, to the victims of the crimes that have been investigated. So that's, that's what motivates me.